Hello everybody and welcome to 1.17 Minecraft, the update is here, the menu looks great it, It's also very purple and the trailer shows none of the cool stuff Just the ocelots, it's just an animated trailer I don't even know why they did it, why did you do this? Come on, give me a break There's so much cooler stuff than this One of the most controversial ideas that this update has given us Is that iron could look like this this is this is what iron looked like. That's not what it looked like. I don't know why they decided to do this. It doesn't look bad. I just don't know if it looks good. I'm sure there'll be resource packs that let you change it back to the other texture if that's your thing. But you haven't seen nothing yet. But <laughs> wait till we get to this stuff. Like, look at this. What is this? This is called deep slate. There's a deep slate variant for every ore block. As you can see and I believe the only difference is that it's just a little bit harder to mine. We'll put that to the test. My theory. Yes, it is slightly slightly slower and you actually get uh raw iron now instead of iron ore goodbye iron ore block you're gone i'm just kidding it's not gone but they added a new item that is one of the 170 new items this also goes for gold it goes for copper which is new diamonds baby you can't get rid of diamonds no raw diamonds just raw gold can you eat raw gold? No, you can't. Tell that to the guy who sprinkles salt on meat because he eats gold all the time. And as we all know, redstone was already raw and emeralds are just a wannabe diamonds with zero use. Their functions are, uh, you know, similar to how you would expect them to be. But the things that you can make with copper are pretty weird. I'm not gonna lie. Copper has four different layers and uh, they also have an insane amount of blocks. They have slabs, they have stairs, and each version of these is multiplied by four basically how to get these naturally to look like this is basically to make it rain however if there's any debris on it and lightning strikes it then it turns back to normal which i like that's pretty awesome however if you use a honeycomb to wax a copper then it doesn't do anything it just burns everything around it and you know, that's pretty interesting. If you wax this one down at the bottom, then, you know, I don't know. Maybe, maybe some creative art projects could be created with this. You know what I'm saying? Look at this. Boom. Only the middle one changed. I don't know. I don't know who's going to like that, but I'm sure someone's going to love that. On top of that, also the raw materials have their own blocks. Raw iron, raw copper, and raw gold. And you know, that that's great. Maybe you think it looks cool for a brick road? I don't know. A lot of creative stuff going on here. Candles. We knew candles were coming. Uh, we didn't know how cool they were going to be. We didn't, want, we didn't know we wanted them until we saw them. Candles are great. We talked about it in another video, but I just like them a lot. It's a small little thing. Oh my god. The black candles look sick. When you light them, why do they look so much cooler than every other candle? I think I found my favorite candle. Just wow. Breathtaking. Wow. And I know a lot of people are excited about the goat. No, he's a goat. Look at him. Come on, goat. Hit me into the cave. Caves and cliffs. Give me a saddle. If we can't ride this, I'm going to be pretty upset. We can't, we can't do it. I expect to have a rideable goat mod in the next two days. And of course, everyone's favorite fish dog. Axolotl. Oh, brother. This guy stinks. Oh, that's interesting. I can put him in a bucket. He turns pink. But he's actually yellow. Man, they slow. Who's gonna win the race? Come on, yellow! He's distracted by a bee! No, no, no! Come on! The finish line's over here! Get to the water! Come on! Come on, baby! Come on! You can do it, yellow! Pink has his eye on the prize. Oh my god, who's gonna win? I can't look! It's so close! Come on, baby! All my money, my life savings on yellow! Come on! Yeah! Yeah! Yellow wins. Yellow wins. And uh, I guess they, they share water. It's kind of cute. Caves! They, uh, they kind of update. Not really. What is that? Seriously. But... Oh, glowing vines. Oh, that's nice. A little illuminance in the caves. You know, you gotta love that. You gotta love that. Raw gold. Oh, oops. <laughs> the crystal geodes, I imagine, are around here somewhere. They will most likely generate the huge caves that we were teased about. Uh, no, not in this one. I'm pretty sure this here, this spawns naturally. That's deep slate. Yep, cobbled deep slate. And that is where you get all those other variants of the ore. Okay, leave me. No, no, no. Okay, this is a little interesting. It's a ravine and then there's like two ravines inside of each other. I don't know if this is updated generation or what, but it looks pretty cool. I don't know about new. It doesn't look that new, but it looks cool. Here we have an example of a stalagmite and a stalactite generation. That's kind of funny that they spawned right next to each other. But they're here in a ravine, so it's... It's going to be spawnable in almost any cave. If we break this, 
top block, the bottom will fall off and will hurt me. And I don't know if you noticed, but you can see that the stalactite, or might, I don't, I don't even know. The stalag boy, he drips water. You don't believe me? I'll show you. As you can see, when the water drips from this, it can be collected in a cauldron. And the same thing can be done with lava. And eventually, it takes a while, it takes really long, but eventually you can collect water. When lava is here, the drips will be orange and they will look like lava. And it falls into the cauldron and will slowly collect over time, which is cool. There's a new way to farm lava. Never before in Minecraft. Usually when it turns into obsidian, it's over and you can never get anything else again, which actually is still the case, except now you have lava that you can collect infinitely. Just like water, except it's really slow. And water caves are in, not the huge caves that we were expecting, but water caves just completely filled with water. Like everywhere you go is water. And they actually lead to the ocean at some point. So wow, that's actually really cool. I didn't expect that. This is definitely something new and interesting. And these underwater caves seem to be just as expansive as normal caves, which is cool to see. Oh, and here is an amethyst geode that's semi broken into, but it's still cool to see that it's actually generating in the world. And as you can see, you can collect the blocks and you can collect the little geodes. Maybe, maybe you can't. I thought you could. You can't do anything with it. All right, Minecraft Mythbusters. Will the goat hit me off of the cliff if I stand a little bit too close, like, like in the trailer? Oh no, I don't know what's gonna happen. I hope this goat doesn't push me. Hey, hey. Do the thing! Do the thing for the trailer! Oh my god, this guy. Huh, you want this? Kick me off the cliff. Go get it. There's actually two amethyst blocks, and one is the budding amethyst, which sounds so good. Look at that. Oh, they both sound the same. They sound so good, though. I wonder how the note blocks sound on these. All right, well, they didn't put too much thought into it. Come on, you couldn't make it sound like this? That sounds so cool. Even walking on these things sounds cool. I don't know how to actually get these amethyst shards, but I imagine they will come from the geodes at some point, or maybe I just don't know how to uh, collect them efficiently, but pickaxes don't seem to be the way to do that. Probably the best item in the game, the spyglass. Yep, copper only, yeah. All you iron fanboys get stuffed because this is the best thing in the whole game. Look at how far I can look. Oh, what's 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 over there? Nothing. Over there? A bee. What's that? Epic candle. Yeah, you get the idea. Moss carpet. So if you want extra thick grass, you know, I mean, here it is. Your wish is my command. But that's not really what's the most important thing of this update. I think the most important thing on this update has to be this leaf thing this droop leaf because it gives you a certain amount of time to stand on it and then you can jump off of it and eventually it will come back up so I, I could see so many cool parkour obstacles with this um having it being a timer how funny would it be if it worked with redstone yeah that'd be awesome but you know minecraft sucks so you know my dreams are crushed it wouldn't really make much sense anyway there's a small version of it though basically uh doing the exact same thing as this and probably my most favorite thing ever that they've ever added is uh the spore blossom just because it is the most beautiful ambient cave thing i've ever seen look at look at all this pollen <coughs> no but in all honesty uh this is probably one of my favorite blocks it's just so cool we can spam it if you really like pink you know this is this is the one for you it looks really scary in there now, <laughs> but so beautiful. Glowberries are also another thing that spawn in caves, and uh, by their name, you could probably tell that they glow. So they're pretty easy to spot, uh, and they're a food source in caves, which I think is the very first food source ever in caves. Not counting rotten flesh from zombies. That doesn't count. It's not really food. But I gotta say, my favorite part of this update is definitely these leaves. Like, this is such a cool thing. This is, like, so, so cool. I want the parkour courses now. Other than that, we have the uh, flowering azalea leaves from the azalea tree. Let's see if we can get a, a nice little, oh, oh yes, there it is. The azalea tree, beautiful. The azalea dirt, I imagine. I actually don't know what that block is. What is this? Oh, rooted dirt. Okay, new dirt block. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Moss block, moss carpet, polished deep slate. 
And there are a couple of other polished type items that you can get now using the beeswax. Blackstone is now polishable and a polished blackstone pressure plate, which I did not expect. Wow, that's actually really interesting. Don't know why we needed that one. But hey, pressure plate. And I think the last item I'm going to talk about is this glowing ink sack. I don't know if it has any purpose, but um, because this item's in the game, now we don't get the flower cow. So pretty upset about that one. Overall update, 10 out of 10. Great update, Minecraft. It should have been one update, but you know, I'll give you a break. Now you decide to do something cool? The last five seconds of the video? Anyway, that was the video. Uh, I probably could have missed some items, but I think that was mostly all of the important stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, let's get Minecraft to 100 billion views. Minecraft update 100 billion. How do I ride this thing? All that and more in the next video. I'll see you guys.